People don't often know what they're looking at. This is especially the case with political conservatives, and most especially the case with extreme right-wing conservatives. First of all, they don't know what they are. They're terrified. You may have legitimate concerns about jobs, about social structure, about the makeup of a country, but when you move to extremes, such as wanting to blame whole groups of people, instead of having a dialogue with individuals from those groups, when you move to exclude people from your country, when you move to bomb other countries because you're afraid of what they might do, when you want to take away health care from other people because you think they might actually be infringing on your income by very much, when you're not willing to have your income infringed upon so that your country can have a better environment of happy and healthy people, you're terrified. I mean, let's face it, you're terrified. You're the same people who seem to support courage in war, but you're terrified about $50 a month more for health care for poor people in your country. You're terrified because one out of a thousand people might be a possible terrorist. And instead of wanting to build a society where people are harmonious and communal and loving and caring, you think it's better to keep working hard to hire more police and beef up the military and exclude people and bomb people and keep people from health care because you're terrified. I saw this yesterday in a chat room. The discussion was what happened in New Zealand and the majority of the people in there were agreeing. And one conservative said, you people don't understand why every country should have a militia. And I said to him, you don't understand that there are countries that have harmonious societies where people don't have road rage, where people never yell at one another in public, and where they have no guns, and they don't need a militia. They trust one another enough to man an army in case the country is invaded, and they know that their own brethren are in the government, and so they're not afraid of tanks rolling down the street. You really can have a society like that, and it starts with looking at yourself and knowing what you're looking at and not being terrified. Thanks.